Hi everyone. Welcome to the final 2019 edition of the House Mouse Collab hosted by Crafty Bean and formerly hosted by Gracie21. Um, Tina Crafty Bean has decided not to host this for next year. Um, and right now I don't think anyone else has picked it up, but I'll still be doing some House Mouse cards and things but they're going to be scattered throughout the year i don't think i'm going to even stay with the set date i'm just gonna do them periodically because they're fun and i like them so i did two cards i'm going to show them to you one at a time first tell you what i used for the first card the first card i used this little stamp here and it's called bow tied because they have little bows up on their on their little heads I also use paper by Stampin' Up out of the most wonderful time and I use this paper here and I use real red cardstock by Stampin' Up. I use this gold shimmer ribbon uh, one quarter inch that is in the Christmas time is here product medley by Stampin' Up. Um, it's a sweet not a product medley excuse me and you can get the ribbon separately but I think only while supplies last and maybe only through the end of December. I use some of these dots that I think might be retired Stampin' Up but I'm not positive because I don't have the label on them anymore and I used a couple red and a green. I did use the rectangle stitched framelit dies. They're the old ones now they just have the rectangle stitch dies. All by, Those are all well, these two things are definitely Stampin' Up. This might have been retired Stampin' Up. And then I did use this hot off the press fancy Christmas greeting stamp set that I had. And I used this one here that's shaped like a tree. It says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And I used a Dollar Tree uh, sticker ribbon, which I'll show you now. So here is my first card. Let me put these down somewhere. Let me move this up a little bit. Here's my first card. It's on real red cardstock with basic black here and here. This and this were cut on the stitched uh, with the stitched rectangle dies. Um, this is a piece of the designer paper. This is the Dollar Tree bow. And I actually colored these guys in first before I cut them out. And I did use Stampin' Up Stampin' Blends in. Uh, light crumb cake, light and dark petal pink, real red and olive green, but on the real red and olive green I used a combination of clear Winkastella and um, I believe this is retired as well, the gold Vegas gold um, shimmer paint with the Winkastella. So on this bow I used a lot of the gold shimmer paint. On this one, I only used Wink of Stella, which you can hardly tell. And on this one, I used uh, clear Wink of Stella, but I also dabbed a little bit of gold just around the edges of it. To, and that was to bring out the gold in the paper, too. So there you go. And then these are the little dots in real red and um, old olive. And then I also used old olive down here, light and dark. So I think they came out really cute. Oh, and on their noses, I just used a dab of this um, glaze pen by Sakura, which I've had in my stash for a couple years now, two years or so. And then here's the gold ribbon. And then this, these two rectangles are bumped up on dimensionals. And then inside, here's the stamp. We wish you a Merry Christmas using real red. And I put down a mat of basic black. So this was a strip of leftover paper. And I just, um, this is not Whisper White. This is um, a Nina cardstock I got at Walmart. Um, I think 90 pound bright white. Uh, something like that. Anyway, that is my first card. I think it came out cute, cute, cute. And then my second card, for my second card, I used um, a different stamp set, which was 
uh, what is this called? Tangle Tumble. The little mousey is all tangled up in the Christmas lights. It seems like us whenever we're getting our, our Christmas lights out to put on the tree. Um, so yeah, I did use this Tim Holtz stamp and I used May Your Season Be Merry and Bright. Um, that's from this year. I did use these Sizzix um, Thinlets. They are number 661188. I don't know if they have a name. Let me see. I don't think they have a name, but they're um, Tim Holtz alterations. And I've had them for a little while too, but they're stitched um, ovals. And the reason I use them instead of Stampin' Up actually is because I needed this big one and none of my Stampin' Up ovals were big enough. So I used the largest two on this card. And I did use a couple Royal Peacock uh, rhinestones in um, Pretty Peacock. I used this eyelet lace. Um, embossing folder from Stampin' Up! And I use the Shimmery Crystal Effects uh, from Stampin' Up! And I used Pretty Peacock cardstock, Crush Curry cardstock, and a piece of paper, uh, which looked like this, out of the Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper from this year's holiday catalog, which is available till 1231. So if you want that one, that one will be going away. So get it now. Anyway, let me show you the card. Here we go. Um, originally I was going to do the oval in the crushed curry, but I like the lights being right behind the little guy rolling on the carpet or ground or whatever with the lights. I figure carpet. And um, But these two are cut out using those dies. This is embossed. And then I did use the Pretty Peacock um, Scalp Linen Ribbon, half inch. And also, um, the, these two are glued together and then this is put down with, instead of using up my dimensionals, I had some of these foam mounting tape by the Dollar Tree uh, rectangles because they're a little bigger. And I used quite a few of them actually on the back of this big oval and the lights um have the shimmery glimmer effects i don't know if you can see it so that's that and on the inside there's your may your season be merry and bright this was a piece of leftover paper which i just glued down to this oval once i ran it through the eyelet embossing folder and then i just fussy cut the edges off and then this is a piece of that same uh, Nina white cardstock. So those are my two cards. Oh, and I colored these this one in with um, Pretty Peacock Poppy Parade Light. Pretty Peacock Light, Poppy Parade Light, So Saffron Light. No, I'm sorry, Old Olive Light, Crush Curry Light. It wasn't Crush Curry. It was um, actually Dark So Saffron for here. And this is light olive. This is so saffron. And this is as well down here because I don't have crushed curry, I don't think. And no, I don't. In um, blends. I don't think they have that one. Then these are the rhinestones. And then I did use Wink Estella on the parts that would be metal. Oh, and I used light seaside spray for the cord because I didn't want it to be just white, which most cords are, or black. So I made it light seaside spray because I had to use the gray, which is smoky slate, light and dark, um, for the metal pieces. And then he's done in uh, light crumb cake and light and dark petal pink. He's a cute, jolly little mousy there. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. Those are my two cars for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please be sure to go check out the other members of the collab. And um, I will talk to you again soon. Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates it. Happy holidays to those that don't. And um, I'm sure I'll be back before Christmas with at least one more or two more videos. Okay, bye for now.
hugs, love, and peace.